Hello everyone, the Nerd Medic over here and in this video we are going to clear a very well-known confusion between two terms that is the Eurobilene and the Storcobilene. So let's get going. So for that we have to understand from the concept of bilirubin metabolism. Now when bilirubin gets metabolized in the liver and gets con conjugated to form bilirubin biglucuronide and diglucuronide, what happens is that they are secreted through or excreted through the biliary system. Now what happens actually? We have bilirubin monoglucuronide and we have bilirubin diglucuronide. These are the conjugated bilirubins which are conjugated in the liver. Now this bilirubin monoglucuronide and diglucuronide are secreted where they are secreted into the gut. Right? Now in the gut what happens? This bilirubin diglucuronide and bilirubin monoglucuronide are acted upon by different bacteria. Right now, what the bacteria do? Bacteria have the different enzymes. One of those enzymes is that bilirubin beta glucuronidase, and this removes the glucuronide. And what happens? Basically, they release bilirubin out of them. The beta glu glucuronidase removes the glucuronide and convert bilirubin diglucuronidase and monoglucuronidase into bilirubin. Now this bilirubin is again acted upon by certain reductases of the bacterial origin. Certain reductases of bacterial origin and what happens? It forms something known as urobilinogen. Right now, some of this urobilinogen is uh, absorbed into the systemic circulation and it goes to the kidney. The urobilinogen remaining in the gut is known as tarcobilinogen. This is nothing but the fecal urobilinogen. Now, this Fecal urobilinogen, which is also known as tarcobilinogen, is acted upon by certain oxidases of bacterial origin and form something known as tarcobilin. And this tarcobilin molecule that is thus formed is excreted with the excreta through anus. Right. And the urobilinogen, which goes into the kidney, that urobilinogen is excreted unchanged into the urine. This urobilinogen upon long standing, let us write down, urobilinogen upon long standing gets oxidized by air and forms urobilin. That's why urine upon long standing in the air gets darker in color and the urobilinogen or the stercobilinogen, the residual amount which is present in the fecal matter gets oxidized in the air and that leads to darkening of fecal matter in presence of air, right? So basically what happens, what is the meaning of stercobilinogen? Stercobilinogen is nothing but it is the leftover, Le stercobilinogen is nothing but it is a leftover urobilinogen in the gut. And what is urobilinogen? Urobilinogen is nothing but a bacterial degradation product of the bilirubin, right? So, uh, and this urobilinogen upon oxida oxidation in open air forms urobilin and stercobilinogen upon oxidation by the bacteria forms stercobilin. Now, I believe after this discussion, in this video, you will never confuse between the two terms which is stercobilin and urobilin. So, this is the idea of this entire video. I hope you have understood this concept well. If you have understood this, please hit the like button, share this video among your friends in the medical school and colleges and by any chance if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon so that you never miss a video from my channel. Until then, bye bye. See you in the next one.